So we're going to start off here, and Aaron, am I'm using uh, DirectX 11. So I tested it out, and that's what we're going with here. And so right now it says my RAM usage is uh, 2 gigabytes. <laughs> and uh, this is not only with... Uh, now, last time it was like hitting 3.3 at some points. Um, so, yeah, that's quite a, quite a reduction. Well, I like it so far, but we'll find out how long before it crashes, Aaronim. <laughs> that's the test. That's what one thing I'm interested in doing right now. I didn't try it out for very long, uh, DirectX 11. I just tried it out long enough to make sure that it actually loaded up properly. And so what we're going to do is we'll see how long it goes. And uh, yeah, I also added your Soviet engine pack uh, the, with the reduced size textures. So that's in, though I don't know about... Um, I don't know about whether it's compatible with the RP0 tech tree. Hi, Mitko. So uh, I'm going to work on that sounding rocket that we had, that we managed to get up to 10 kilometers. Actually, before I start working on the rocket, I think I should back out and uh, and get some contracts. Uh, yeah, I had a lot of problems. Speaking of which, uh, right before the stream, uh, just an hour ago, I didn't have phone or internet. <laughs> so Cam Comcast is having a lot of fun with me. Uh, yeah, uh, hopefully, hopefully, whatever they did that brought down the phone and the internet uh, an hour ago has made the phone and internet better. I don't know. I don't know what's that, what that's all about. Okay, so I want an uncrewed altitude of 20 kilometers. I've already got that, and I want to get to 600 meters per second. So that's our next uh, target. Uh, we've got an X-Planes thing. We've got sounding rocket low. Uh, that's to get to 30, uh, 73,000 meters. I guess we might as well pick that up as well. Uh, break the sound barrier crude. I don't want to go for yet. Mm -hmm. And that's another, that's a crude thing, isn't it? Yeah, crude aircraft. Okay, you haven't worked on RP0 yet? Yeah. You probably have it done for next stream? Excellent. Uh, so we can switch up the engines a bit. For now, though, it doesn't matter because I'm starting off with the stuff in the start node, which is not exact I mean none of the rocket engines that are going to be uh, much we call it uh, in the Soviet engine pack would be ready for this stuff yet anyway oddly we've got other stuff oh yeah I, I had deleted oh and this is a weird one this one says RP0 yes I even though it's propellants or liquid fuel and oxidizer which means it doesn't have a real fuels config silly yeah RD 170s are way further along yeah, I've already pruned a lot of the stuff out of my parts pack. In fact, I pruned some stuff out of the... Uh, well, you can see, uh, I, I don't know what I pruned that caused the Beechcraft Bonanza texture to go away. Um, so, yeah, I actually have to unprune some stuff, it looks like, judging from the fact that a lot of parts don't have textures. So, yeah, the, the stock extensions pack that is required by RP0... Uh, is unkind when it comes to allowing me to prune it. Okay, so I think it was Epsilon G that worked out fine last time. Probably not gonna work on it right now. Yeah, someone in the... Oh, the Buran. Yeah, yeah. Most part pack dependencies can be removed if you want as long as you replace. Yeah, I, I, I know, but we've got this sort of thing, so... I don't know. And these are RP0 compatible, mind you, the Beechcraft Bonanza cabin. And you saw we had a X-Plane thing. So here's my... Okay, can you guys guess what my solution... So our problem is that we need to de-spin it somehow, right? It's spinning very fast, uh, but as it gets higher and higher, we want to slow down the spin. That's the problem. Now, the first thing we can do is we can reduce the... We can reduce the spin, obviously. And we'll, I'll do that as much as possible. So I think that's about as little uh, tilt as I can give those fins. And remember, half of the fins are perfectly straight. Let's just keep it to there. We'll, we'll reduce it if necessary. Okay, so can you guess what my solution is? My solution is a second stage. Avionics package has 200 kilometers. Let's see. Uh, I, I do intend to have this thing possibly go beyond 200 kilometers, but let's see, 200 kilometers? Eh, maybe, okay, we'll, we'll go without the antennae for now. We'll dump that for now. Saw Scott Manley do an interesting thing with an SRB first stage? Oh, sure. 
But we don't have SRBs. Uh, well, I mean, we've got the Tiny Tim, but that's not going to get us very far. Oh, he did something with, interesting with the Tiny Tim? He did something interesting with this? Well, I'm going to do something completely different. Now, I need to move my instruments a little bit higher. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to sneak in that second stage they're going to be. But I think I want to put a little side mounted so they don't obstruct the parachutes. He launched it with that first and then switched to... Oh, sure! But didn't I try that last time? I thought I tried that last time already. Well, maybe I didn't. I don't know. Whatever. It ain't happening here. I think I did one like that. We we launched so many rockets last time, though, I don't even remember. Nathan Kell said uh, with sounding rockets, it's best to hide the science part with in a procedural nose cone. We're, we're not even close to that yet, SU-25T. Yes, of course it'd be better. But uh, the procedural... First of all, uh, you might want to pass on to Nathan Kell that the procedural parts, the, um, the interstage fairing adapter didn't have the right pricing. Here, take a look. I'm going to uh, make a little stage here. Nope. The fairings cause negative cost. So, yeah. Oh, pricing gets weird when sized down, also with tweak skills sometimes. Well, this this is the this is the this isn't tweak scale, right? It shouldn't be using tweak scale to size this. Tweak scale looks different. Tweak scale doesn't tweak the procedural fairings. If you have its stage, yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, that's that's the plan, Eridem. I'm planning to stage it, and I'm planning to have straight fins too. You'll see. I I got this idea. I, I have a very clear idea. I don't know if it's gonna work at all or not, but hey. Obviously, fairings will be better. I'm just a little bit concerned about the pricing there. So, just a warning, uh, if you're just joining. Yeah, this this thing doesn't have avionics. We're gonna press spacebar and hope for the best, basically, Keaton. So, uh, we're very early on in things. Yeah, welcome. You made tiny R7s with reskill... Oh, jeez. Well, actually, that's not unlike what I did in the Realism Overhaul series, right? I think I did some of that. Didn't I? Yeah, I had rescaled the dec radial decouplers. I put the boost Araby boosters. I don't know if you saw that in the Realism Overhaul and Beta series. Okay, how about we make it a minute on the top stage and then a minute on the rest of it? Uh, we probably need it wider than we need a cone. That looks like a good sea level thrust to weight ratio. Okay, I'll keep it 59 seconds then. Oh, back in, uh, oh, back in Alpha, ooh. The old days. Okay, um, so we need this up to 0.4 now. And th this part up to 0.4. Hmm. So I want to have straight fins on this, this portion, so that'll eventually stop spinning, right? So if I have straight fins here, it'll, it'll stop the spinning once I decouple. That's the idea here. These are the straight fins. This one has uh, straight fins and uh, tilted fins to start the spinning off. Okay, so this will stop the spinning, but here's the problem. Uh, once we decouple, we're still spinning, and the fuel isn't going to be settled. The fuel will be sloshing on the sides instead of settling down to the Araby. So we need some sort of little boosters like these Separatron motors to settle the fuel down before lighting the upper Araby. And so that's what I'm going to do here. And I'm going to thrust limit it to... Uh, 12% maybe? So as soon as I separate I'm going to have those guys fire for 9 seconds and then light the arrow bait. Okay, I think, I think this is the rocket I'm going to try. Okay, um, I need, I need, uh, support and guidance. Please tell me what you think of this. Because we're gonna spend some time launching these. I don't know if tucking these in will do any good at all. But it'll look better. Uh, it might pop out again. Okay, so I'm gonna call this... What other Greek letter is there? Let Lambda. I've always liked Lambda. Lambda 1. No, Lambda A. 
Do I have two production lines going yet? Uh, we usually have two production lines, so I, I ended, uh, I flew all flights at the end last time. Uh, just to finish things. I, I don't know, we might have something left over. In the queue, I don't know. Um, so yeah, let, let me get this building. And I'm going to... Did you reduce the size of the bottom part? Uh, you only use half the fuel in the rocket. What? Uh, yeah, uh, I reduced the size. I, uh, I, I am capping off at a minute. That might be too much. I don't know. But we're reducing the tilt on these, so maybe it'll go for longer. Yeah, there's the legitimate career mode. Uh, in fact, we're still at the first node. We're still at start. And we're doing little rockets that can barely go anywhere. Okay, and things can blow up randomly. Yeah, I, I will always keep the build lines full. Uh, SU-25T. Uh, that looks too straight to me. We need a little bit of spin. I'm just gonna... I'll, I'll, I'll just... We don't have struts yet, otherwise I'd strut this part. Oh, we do? Oh, we do. Okay. So I'll add some struts here. Ooh, are the struts heavy? No. Actually, you're too bulky. Uh, will this be uploaded to YouTube sometime? I intend so. Yeah, I think so. Also, you were not really meant to start. I know, I read. I know it's set up for normal. But but according to the notes, the only reason I should be in normal is because the upgrade costs are too much. And I can adjust that, and I'll adjust that in the, whatchamacallit, the persistent file if necessary. So I'll, I'll tone down the, the cost of the building upgrades uh, if that becomes an issue. But maybe I'll restart in normal mode because that's what they said to do. But I, I do like saying that I'm in hard mode. Okay, so, um, oh, that's glitched out. That's not right. Um, but anyway, uh, let's see. Here's what we've got going. We've got an Epsilon H already in progress. I don't even remember what that was, but we might as well try it out. Alpha is not useful. Let's just proceed. So, this is Kerbal Construction Time, which is not required for Realism Overhaul by any stretch of the imagination, but we are using it because it makes things more interesting. Okay, let's launch. So this is not the new version, this is not the improved version, this is the original. Okay, so uh, here we go. Yeah, this is just... Uh, oh, this is a two set fin version of the... of the Epsilon. Just mainly push all points into VAB. Where, where were you last time? Because I accidentally put some points in the SPH that I shouldn't have. Uh, no, I realize that now. R&D, research things as soon as you get any science at all. Yeah, R&D will take a long time. Yeah, but uh, actually SG-25T, um, what you got? Nathan Kill said in the thread that you could get into orbit with, with just the stuff in the start node, and I'm trying that. I want to see if I can do that. Are you ever going to do a Q&A style video? Well, I'm, I can do Q&A here. If you have questions, I will provide answers. Okay, um, so okay, so what I wanted to explain was we have test flight, and test flight means oh that's scan sad. We've got many mods. Oh, that's one thing I should do. Here's the mod list. Okay, so uh, test flight will randomly kill some of my engines occasionally. So as as Aaronim suggested last time, we're going to light the engines first and then launch. And we will not launch if some of the engines fail. Okay, so here we go. Okay. Off it goes. Yeah, I've got test flight. It's loud. It's loud. I can't even go near the rocket. It's loud. It's looking good. 
Oh, wait, something's wrong. This, uh, main goal of this mission is to go high and fast. Okay. That's all. We're just... Assigning rockets are just supposed to go high and fast. We do have uh, scientific instruments, but we're not going to get any science out of these. Wow, sensors show an average recording of that. Okay. Well, yeah, uh, we've... Oh, we've got point two. I guess we can transmit point two. Go for it. I could adjust the audio. Uh, yeah, it should already be adjusted, but I'll double check that. I think it's just the realism overhaul engines somehow are much louder than everything on the planet. Um, let's see. Spacecraft, well, I can go to... You can see how low it is. I'll go to 2%. We'll hope. Kelvin and Celsius, yeah. Well, there is a parachute on here. We will try to recover it quickly. Now, this thing is not going to balance very well, so I'm gonna have to rush to recover this. Imagine if it were at 50... Yeah, forget about it. Nope, all my videos are recorded with the with the volume around those levels. And that's how it has to be, apparently. Now, we didn't use all the fuel because uh, we had the fuel flow problem again, which is why I'm going to have the two-stage version. The hope is that the two-stage version will not have the fuel flow problem. Fuel flow problem. In body physics, uh, well, okay, any mod that won't glitch the thing out. Uh, gl uh, remember, I have a morbid fear of glitches. <laughs> I have a morbid fear of glitches. Okay, so uh, point 0.5 science from returning the vessel, apparently. And, uh, well, we got our funds back. Um, so now we only have one assembly line going. I guess that'll be alright until the end. The, also check your upgrade points from time to time. Uh, well, none. So, yeah, um, I think being in hard mode might be affecting more than I think. If it was just the buildings, I wouldn't be too perturbed into the building cost. But I don't know what it might be doing with Kerbal construction time. So that might be another wrinkle in the whole... Uh, wrinkle in time. No. Um, 0.75 VAB build rate for any real progress minimum at start. Okay, well I... Again, where were you when I put the points in here? I can't do anything about it now. <laughs> Just kidding, of course, but I mean, you know. Okay, so there's a chance that some engines are going to fail. So once again, I'm going to fix the staging here so that we can shut it down if it fails. Okay, let's see. Alright, off we go. Got a slow turn, but it's pitching. It's pitching a bit. Oh, we lost one engine completely. What the heck was that for? But it's actually still going just fine. Still going. I don't know why we lost that one engine. I'll have to take a look later, but I'm too curious about what's actually going on for now. Okay, spin is pretty high now. It's tilting over. My apologies, people. Um, oh, alright, I'll F3. Um, whack Corporal failed explosion. <laughs> Very descriptive. That was probably... That was probably flight test thing. Again. It didn't say anything here though. It's still going. It's gonna burn out its fuel. So we sort of had a good stage. Okay, settling the fuel down, slowing down, using uh, these fins to stop rotating. And uh, ignition. We have good ignition. No, we don't. <laughs> no, we don't. No, we no, we don't have good ignition. 
Uh, but was it flight? Maybe it was flight test that shut down. Engine shut down. I don't. I think it was the. I think it was flight test that did. I don't think it was the fuel. It looked like it was starting off properly. I don't know. Now the problem is uh, we can only recover this part of the parachute, but man, we got a lot higher and we fulfilled some contracts too. Uh, we got the uh, uh, un uncrewed altitude record of 30. Uh, we got 20. We got 600 meters per second. So yeah, things are things are going well. Try to no, it's only got one ignition. No ignitions remaining. So I'm gonna wait until the velocity goes down. Well, until we start going down, and then I'll pop the parachute. Let's see, uh, science? No. Nope. Okay, people of Florida, watch out. Okay, we're going down now. Uh, it's going faster than the speed of sound. I don't know if we're gonna be able to recover this. How I calculate delta V when starting with multiple engines? It makes absolutely no difference. If you have more than one engine, as long as uh, the the equation just has ISP, your mass before you finish um, burning the fuel in the stage, and the mass after you finish burning the fuel in the stage. That's all there is. So. It doesn't uh, matter how many engines you have, unless you have engines with different ISP. If you have engines with different ISP, you have to weight the ISP by the thrust they produce. So if you have one with 200 ISP that produces 200 thrust, and then one with 300 ISP that has 100 thrust, I don't know how you'd actually put that on a rocket, but then the one with 200 thrust would get double the weight, and so you'd have 400 there, 300, I guess, uh, 400, 300. Hold on, I can't do this in my head right now. I'm worried about my rocket. Something like that. Yeah, so you wait by the thrust, and if I could write it down, I'd be able to tell you. But uh, hold on, my rocket is probably going to explode right now, so I want to pay attention to it. Okay, so I'll have 233 in that. Uh, yeah, 700 divided by 3. Yeah, sorry. 700 divided by 3, 233.3333 in that case. Uh, yeah, this is gonna die. Okay. Alright. Well. So much for that. Back to Space Center. Well, I think we should maybe build a few more of those just to see how high they can go. No, we didn't get below the speed of sound, Aerodim. There's no way a real shoot is going to let me pop that parachute below the speed of sound. Well, we could try. I guess we could try. No harm in trying. We started off with 25,000 funds, by the way. So we're like only three below where we started off. No, it doesn't matter where I did it. Uh, it just ripped them off if it's uh, beyond the speed of sound, and we never got below. Not even at Apple. We had too much horizontal. Yeah, let me build one more of these. I want to see how I can go if uh, if the engine starts out, but let me take a look at the contracts. Oh, you know we should put we should just put parachutes on the lower part bit. Okay, these are just crude contracts. Uh, I have stage recovery in, by the way. Otherwise, we'd have to turn to it, obviously. So stage recovery will have to handle that part. You know we've got to put another stage in the bottom of this. Then we could probably get get some fairways into space. But uh, for now, let's just try and get to space, shall we? Uh, well, okay. Anyway. I'll be deploying it at decoupling anyway. I think. We'll see. Whoa! Hey, I said apply to symmetry counterparts. Come on, you. If we got something that we couldn't transmit, that would be a different story. But right now, the thermometer costs 8. The... Barometer costs 8. Actually, our engine is not too expensive. That costs 10. I'd like the fins back, perhaps. That's... I don't know how much they cost. Yeah, recovery is important for other things. As SC25T pointed out. Spend my 5 science points as they will give me an upgrade point to spend on the VAB if I want. Okay, but... 
very important. Uh, I am trying to get into orbit with just the start node, SC25T. Remember, that's a side goal of mine. And so I want to try that first, and so it might be a little bit delayed. And so I know that's a little bit frustrating, but that's that's where I'm at. Okay, let's see. Movie time. Black and white film. There we go. Uh, not what I wanted. That goes away. You can stay. Alright, so uh, let's put the throttle up. And let's fix that staging again. Alright, here we go. I'll keep the UI up for now. Well, yeah, I'll keep the UI up. Here we go. Alright, off it goes. Seems to like to tend to go west. Lost an engine again. Okay, so this is gonna be a consistent thing. Yeah, oh, I haven't got Kerbal Wind or. Oh, okay, that's early. Okay, this time we have a good ignition on this stage, but we had an early out on the other stage. Let's see if it can keep pointing prograde here and not flip over. I don't know. Yeah, Kerbal Wind is one mod I haven't added. Haven't added weather either. We could add weather. If we really wanted to be irritating about it. Tills that way because help out a clamp on one side? Maybe. We could adjust that. I have to say, the way that it's uh, tilting down here would not be bad if we were trying to get to an orbit. Ah, uh, we're not quite in orbit yet. No, not in orbit. Not quite in space yet. We need to go to 130, remember. Space is 130. Um, let's see how this ends up. I don't know. We have the next record. This is true. Did they give it to us? Did they give us something? 50. They gave us 50 and 900 meters per second and 40 okay this thing is going in like lawn dart hey let's try parachute oh parachute deployment failed <laughs> okay well I saw that coming auto clamp remover bug fix mod thingy yes I have put it in I I, I don't think I added it to mod list yeah, um, what's his face? Uh, always shows up on Shimmy stream. Made that, uh, made that fix. Okay, explosion. Okay, um, return to vehicle assembly. I peer, yeah, I peer. Yeah, clamps be gone. It's called clamps be gone for those who want it. Okay, so uh, clamps on both sides, but we have to figure out, it just says the fourth engine explodes. I don't know why we have an engine exploding at all. Now, it hasn't actually caused any problems, I hate to say. Now that last one, we seem to spin up a little bit too much, too. Let me fix the staging here now. Let's call this Landa C. But I don't know why we're having this problem. Or any other problem. Let me slap some parachutes on this one too. Our, our uh, thrust weight ratio is too low with these parachutes. I think I'll forego recovering it after all. I like this sort of. I like 1.7 better. Okay. 
Um, any other improvements? Maybe we should... Oh, no, I want to test whether this ends up tilting one way or another. So we'll save and we'll build that. But we need to give thought to the next stage. So maybe we should start building that rocket as well. Okay. And I want to slip in the uh, structural part so that I can uh, add another stage. If game, you will let me do so. Okay, there we go. Lots of small parts here, so I could create merry havoc with the thing. Small parts don't seem to be very favored by KSP these days. Alright, hopefully that'll work out. Realistic progression zero, yeah. Roofless physics try to kill you harder. Could do. Hot staging. Well, remember, we can't do hot staging. Because we need it to actually spin down first. No. Uh, no, we can't scrap the SRB ullage. Because we need it to spin down first. Very important. Yeah, otherwise the fuel will be all in the wrong place. Well, this structural part is not going to cause too much of a problem, but it's the best way to hook up that decoupler to it. Okay, uh, we're going to need to make this rocket fatter. Because otherwise it's going to flip over. Surface attach for when I get to the 30 part limit. Is it 30 part limit? It, does, it isn't limiting me. SC25T, I've got 32 parts on it. It doesn't have it in red. Is it supposed to be part limiting me? Okay, that's one minute there. I'm just going to make a three minute rocket. And this is completely arbitrary, of course. I'm just saying, okay, three minutes. Because it sounds good. And I don't know about uh, attaching them. You say they surface attach? They don't surface attach very well. Oh, no, they do. Okay, well, we'll try surface attaching then. Because the thrust plate multi adapter for this one will be annoying. But uh, if they explode the fuel tank because of heat or something, I'm holding you responsible. We're only at 2.3 gigabytes of RAM according to it, but I don't really trust it. I guess 9 will do. Mini N1? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, so we need the tilted fins. Where did I put you tilted fins? Okay, we don't need a whole lot of you. We just need four. And straight fins again. But we're gonna make you guys a little bit bigger because, you know, rocket's bigger. Let's say 85%. Okay, well this should be interesting. I think we definitely need to go to a different Greek letter for this one. I'm gonna put the clamps higher. Okay, that's a three minute rocket and we'll call this... What? Moo. Dash A. Now there really was a Moo rocket, but uh, this isn't that one. Hope I sufficiently raised engine reliability and test light in the meantime. All those engines are supposed to burn for one minute. Well, we've been losing engines left and right on the previous launches. It, uh, I mean, we, we lost an engine in the previous two times and it actually didn't hurt much. Go figure. Okay, so we can hope. Alright, let's build this puppy. <laughs> 